whenever you're ready. Wow! Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we're going to be testing out the brass pellets from Tim Hamilton from Ballistic Machinist. Although the box says it's for full rifled barrels only, you will see in our test that they will shoot out of nearly any type of shotgun, as long as it's 12 gauge. We were very impressed with the performance of these slugs, and I'm sure you will be too. Check out the link in the description. Prepare to fight. We're going to try some today. It's uh, from Tim of the Ballistic Machinist. Uh, these dudes are 389 grains. Energy is 2,400 foot-pounds. This is lot number 001. So wow. This is all new. We're going to try them out for And they're him. for sale now, folks. Yeah. We're going to try them out for him and see how they work in the slow-mo. We're going to shoot them through a smooth bore or whatever barrel you got on there. Uh, it's a modified stock barrel. Okay. So we'll give them a full range. We'll try some of the other barrels. We'll try, them. yeah, the rifle choke. Right. and the full rifling to see how the ballistics look give, to give you guys an idea how powerful these things are yeah okay let's let's I, do it i got my pee pad on yeah you're gonna need that these <laughs> things kick like a mule all right here we go they're like i, I wish you called them brass knuckles oh yeah yeah see yeah. didn't have a ring to it this is our kind of our standard the wet magazines it simulates flesh it, How's the recoil? Pretty stout? Pretty stout. Not bad, I've shot worse. <laughs> Coming out of the Mossberg's barrel at 1,670 feet per second, the brass pellet just blasted through our magazine target. These things have just amazing penetration. Let's look at the damage. They got a little hole going in. Actually, it's a big hole. But look at that exit wound. Just massive damage. Okay, now we've got the Benelli with the, I think it's like 34 inches of barrel there or something like that, yeah. <laughs> with that rifled rifle choke on there. Choke. See how they perform out of that. I guess uh, Tim didn't have a rifle choke to test it with. Some people will use them, um, that will, and we'll see how that works. Some, th some things work well with the rifle choke, and some things just absolutely don't. All right, here we go. Ouch. <laughs> I think the magazines are done now. Here we go. We were able to get more power out of that longer barrel. Accuracy was good. Stability was just a little bit wobbly there. Still, very impressive results. Danny, can you pass the tissue test? We're gonna find out. We're gonna try it through a full rifle barrel. We're gonna show Mr. Whiffle how to squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> California ballistic gel right there, man. <laughs> oh, yes. As expected, the results from the rifled barrel were outstanding. Very good stability, good accuracy, and just devastating damage. First blood. Of course, we can't forget the lead plate, which I almost forgot, but Danny reminded me. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I, I saw something hit the dirt behind it. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Oh! The lead plate weighs about 20 pounds and is about an inch and a half thick. Unstoppable. Now, if you've seen our previous test, we use this lead plate quite a bit. Most slugs, especially lead slugs, will crater it. You get a crater about half inch to one inch deep at the most. The brass pellet being a harder metal and flying at a high velocity, just plowed through that thing. We found some pieces of brass around the table, but for the most part, it left a 70 caliber hole right through that plate. Boom! No, these slugs do not have a limited range of 10 yards. This is a 50 yard shot. The slug is still traveling at a supersonic speed. It's still very stable and it's still very accurate. Humiliation. And how do we know it was still traveling at a supersonic speed? Because the shock wave 
will kick up the dust as the slug travels a foot or two above the ground, as we saw here. Slugs traveling at a subsonic speed just won't kick up the dust like that. Now this is really impressive. That slug hit the Kevlar vest that Doug was wearing so hard, it shoved it into his belly. That is a lot of impact, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna see what they do through a smooth bore now. Break action. Break I, I have good confidence. We're gonna shoot, what, 50 yards? The call again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for 50 measured yards. Okay. We got right. some soda cans down there on the ground. Let's see if we can get, if the the shock wave will knock them over or not. Yeah. Just kicked up. It was a good. Dust. It was a suggestion of viewer had. I thought, hey, that's cool. That's cool. I got good some idea. soda cans. <laughs> good idea. He's got no, pretty much no sight. What he's got a bead sight mostly. Uh, bead sight with a little bit of a ramp in the rear. Once again, we see that distinctive shock wave traveling along the ground, kicking up the dust. Oddly enough, it did not even knock over those soda cans, which were empty soda cans. Dominating. Now in this shot, we put two Kevlar vests in front of Doug. We are able to trap the slug. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the slug. No deformation, no dents. It's ready to shoot again. Okay, the blackjack brake action. Cylinder bore. Shoot it about maybe less than a little, maybe around 10 yards at the most. Woo! Out of the cylinder bore brake action, stability was outstanding. And look at that impact. It almost went through. Now, we did not test these through a full choke. I don't know if the tolerances are correct or not. So, I would say don't shoot these through a full choke, just to be on the safe side. Here we are here. That's a rather small hole for such a large pellet. <laughs> yeah. Those plastic coats. You the bulge in the back. Almost penetrated. Brake action. Blackjack. Hydrostatic shock test whenever you're ready. Wow. Now again, another shot through a cylinder bore just to prove that these are not limited to a full rifled barrel. Stability was excellent again. Now accuracy is subjective here because I gave Danny all these different shotguns to shoot him through. This one didn't even have any rear sights. Just for fun, let's see how these things do through the same shotgun at 100 yards. Okay, 100 yards, brake action, no, no optics basically. Can, you, can he do it? Hit it. Oh. Open sights, ladies and gentlemen. Can Danny hit Doug? at 100 yards, measured yards. <laughs> Are we ready? Yep, I am ready. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Give Danny a shotgun with decent sights on it and he can hit the target. And yeah, that thing was still traveling at a supersonic speed on impact. And there, folks, is the brass pellet. I would have called him the brass knuckle, but who the heck am I? I think Tim has a real winner here. These things are half the price of the RIP brass slugs, but they have over 10 times the effective range, a lot more velocity. These things would be great for bear hunting, boar hunting, even deer hunting, and they're non-lead. I hope you were as impressed with these as we were. These things were just outstanding. Again, there's a link in the description. Be sure to use that code to get 5% off. Once again, we want to thank our Patreons. You guys are making the difference between this channel shutting down like so many other channels have and surviving to last another year. As I've said before, it's not so much the demonetization of videos it is the ad rates the revenue that we make per thousand views has been cut in half every year for the last five years and it's gotten to the point where it's critical now we only have about 220 patrons and we're gonna need more by next year and I hate asking people to donate but I do appreciate your generosity 
And if you don't want to support my channel, consider supporting your other favorite channels who will also need your help. Thanks again for watching.